Welcome back. We are going to tackle Fire Knight 25. We've got a lot of speed runs in here, four different comps in the first part with Lydia and Seer if you're used to using them. And if you're not, it's okay. I've got a free to play friendly run. I've got an almost all rare run with Sal the Drakes in there. We're also using those cold hearts that you're used to using, so we kept them in there as well. We do have two different Seers that we're going to run. This is Seer number two at 179 speed, 296 critical damage. She is not in a Savage set. The second Seer here is at 261 critical damage, 224 speed, and this is the one I used to go through the Doom Tower. So I didn't want to mess with her. I do have a second one that I did use critical damage. Anytime you have a Savage set like this one does, you're going to do more damage. So if you can find a Savage set and get somewhere around this critical damage, or if you don't have a Savage set and you want to go a slow Seer with that critical damage you saw before, you can do it. Either one will work. And we have a really slow Renegade in here right there at 163 speed. And that's it. She's just got a shield set on to give us additional buffs so that we can eat them with Seer. Don't worry. If you don't have a Seer, if you don't have a Lydia, we've got other comps for you. We're just going to go through this one first. We've got tons of stuff to show you at the end of this with other comps out there. Now it's going to go really fast. Keep in mind, these first two waves are going to be dropped in 20 seconds. Every time with every single one of these comps. So I know it's going to go quickly, but you know the deal. You come in, decrease defense, weaken, you get the buffs up. We're getting buffs up with Vizix. I did have to put Vizix in an immunity set. Do you see this? She's got an immunity set because I needed one more buff to get enough damage to drop the waves. Here we go. Drop the wave. Boom. Reset with Renegade. Just like you would do with Kaimar. Do it all over again. Drop the wave. 19 seconds to the boss. We're going to drop the boss's shield down. It's got 12 shields now instead of 10, which is nuts. And it's only taking half of our turn meter reduction. 50% less turn meter reduction. And any hit that you do to this boss, it doesn't matter where the hit came from, it'll only be 10% of its max HP. So no matter what you do, poison explosion, enemy max HP, ignore defense, it does not matter. You can try to come up with any clever ideas you want, but whatever damage you do to it, it is capped at 10% of its max HP. So do you need to have your cold hearts coming in here with really fancy gear on them anymore? Well, if you want to do damage to the waves, you want to, but we'll talk more about that when we get to the cold hearts. Let's just look at how amazing Vizix is doing a decrease speed on this, like the big decrease speed on her A2, and then a little turn meter reduction on her A1. If she gets the two hits and does stealing of the turn meter on the A1, she'll drop him by 15%. She total does 30, but it's cut in half, so she'll do 15%. But once we get this big slow speed, 30% less, Let's say this boss is at 200, we drop its speed by 30%, that's 60 speed less. Then Allure right here, she's at 237 speed. And remember with Allure, since we're strong affinity, we only need 85% crit rate. That's it, 85% crit rate because we're strong affinity, which makes it easier to build our, build our Allure. Okay, this one I like the best. We have Light Sworn in here. He gives us two additional buffs. We get that increased defense in the Rebirth, which makes it so we have more buffs to eat for Seer, so your Seer doesn't have to be as strong as these two. Plus, he's going to bring you a decreased attack and slow speed on that A2. We want that slow speed. Just like before with Vizix, if we get that slow speed up, then Allure can take over and always keep it down. Plus, he's going to drop turn meter by 10% on his A1, and he has a three-hit A1. So this one is great. Like this guy, again, 20 seconds to the ball, somewhere around there. Unless we had any kind of mishaps where he didn't get to place a decreased defense or a weaken, it can be resisted no matter what your accuracy. But we're coming in here with his three additional hits, and as long as he gets that slow speed up, it looks slow, or it looked close right then, because now we got the slow speed. We got to get that slow speed up. But he does help out this team and he makes it very easy for you to get here. So you saw the slow speed we have on our Renegade. You saw the slower Seer that you can use. You saw the faster Seer. The Seer speed doesn't matter. I was just showing you the difference in the gear for Savage and not having Savage. The speed doesn't matter. You can go with the slow speed. We are using the slower Seer in here as well. We're not too worried about the speeds because once we get here, we have a 237 speed Allure and Relentless taking over. And then once the shield is down and we get the slow speed up, it's done. But still, we're looking at, on stage 25, two-minute to three-minute runs. If you wanted to get more damage and make it faster, I would have to put Giant Slayer on, maybe Giant Slayer over here for sure on Light Sworn. Giant Slayer, if we could, on our Allure. And then more damage wherever else we can get. Make our guys hit harder. And then we could get it down to under two minutes. Like, right under two minutes. But that's pushing it. I think two minutes is a really good speed goal to get to right now until we find out something amazing, which I don't know if there is. I don't know yet. This is day one of me testing it. We did this all on stream. 
Two minutes and 22 seconds. Not bad. I like it. Light Sworn is a boss for this. He will help you out. He'll give you additional buffs. And then the thing about buffs is we could bring in Archmage Helmet, but he won't work because he does nothing once we get to the boss. Will he drop the waves and get you there in 20 seconds? Yes. But once we get to that boss, we need a slow speed. So you can use, if you're going to get that A1 to hit often enough, we could use Mausoleum Mage. But that A1 needs to apply that slow speed pretty quickly so that we can get going. But we will always get to the boss in 20 seconds, even with Mausoleum Mage. But we need somebody that's got multi-hit, like he's got multi-hit. And then we need somebody to apply the slow speed, just like Vizix will do. Vizix has multi-hit. She has turn meter reduction. Now we're going to bring in a pull-in. There we go. Krila. She gives us the buffs. And then she times this just properly, that she'll drop the wave for us right here with the reset. And she'll have her A2 ready to go as soon as we zone in. Now, she doesn't have a slow speed. She doesn't have a multi-hit A1. But the pull in right away. Now, if we're pulling in a lure, then we're set. If we can pull her in every time, it says three random enemies. But if we can get a lure to come in there, then we're good. We could use this every single time. So you could use, I just gave you, what, three options so far. I've got one more. We've got one more that works perfectly. Again, today was the first day I was on the test server. I was on stream for four hours, streaming this with everyone. We tried to come up with different ideas to use once I started using these teams. We thought about other champions that would work to give us buffs on the way there. And then it would help us while we're at the boss. But there really aren't that many. There aren't that many that will give us a crazy amount of buffs that we can eat with Seer. Because we can't drop the waves like we used to. We need more buffs to eat. We can't just use Seer and Lydia in a shield set and drop them. They're too strong. Stage 25, guys. Stage 25. Not hard, just long. <laughs> That's all it is. That is all stage 25 is. Now with this pull in here, Krila does have fast animations. I like that about her, the fast animation, but for some reason we got a bad time on this. I don't know why, but we're getting a bad time. I need to up her speed. I need to, again, put Giant Slayer on many people who have multi-hit or War Master, but it's a shame. I mean, you're seeing these drops, right? <laughs> you're seeing these drops. Okay, we have one more that worked out really well, and that's Blind Seer. Blind Seer has a three-hit A1 and can drop turn meter on it. Plus, she gives us a buff. Watch. She gives us these buzz right here. We eat them, we drop it. 20 seconds to the boss again with Blind Seer. While we're at the boss, my Blind Seer is actually in a Relentless set. Maybe you'll want to put your Blind Seer in a Relentless set as well. It works out fantastic for her. And we're trying to drop turn meter with that A1. Multi-hit to get it down fast and turn meter reduction with that A1. And I should have her in Giant Slayer, but she's not to do more damage. If we were trying to get faster runs here. But we're going to get about the same time. I mean, these... To me, these are speed runs right now for 25. Do I like it? Do I agree with it? No, I would have never designed it this way. I don't see, I don't see the use for it. I don't think this is a good development for the game, but this is where we're at. I would have done a whole different way of doing this. Longer runs, and they're not hard. Is it's even if it was harder, <laughs> it just makes no sense for an app game. Why are we doing five minute runs? Watch these runs in a minute when you don't have a team like this, when you don't have a seer dropping these waves. Look at these teams we're going to see in just a minute. It's crazy. 223, not bad. We do have a slow speed up, though, from our Renegade. Look, that's a lower version of the slow speed, which helps a lot. So try to get your Renegade to 60 and get her an accuracy banner so you can get that A2 to get that slow speed up. Boom. 247. So we were averaging 220 to 247, somewhere around there. Okay, now we've got a team of Alert. Terrell, which is amazing because A3 can drop turn meter and he will save it till the shield is down. His A2 is a multi-hit. We get AOE decreased defense. We've got Apothecary in here, three hit A1. We have a Cold Heart and then we have an Allure back in here. And of course, we've got the Drakes. What is the Drakes doing? She is just stunning everything. Stun, stun, stun. What can they do? This is way too fast. This is way too fast. I'm going to jump forward. She is stunning every. This is hurting my eyes. Where are we? This is <laughs> it's hurting my eyes. Okay, we're going to jump forward on this one. So they down the wave very easily. We get to the next wave. We put up the stuns again. We down the wave again. And now we take ourselves into the boss. Okay, this is easier. We drop it. We drop it. Turn meter reduction. Speed from Apothecary. Slow speed is up right now. We got that from Solid Drake. Solid Drake skin A1 can drop turn meter as well. Turn meter reduction. Turn me I mean, look at this. The turn meter is down. The turn meter is way down. We've got so many. Terrell can drop turn meters on his a3 turn meter from cold heart easy easy look at it not even a chance but the run is five minutes long <laughs> so <laughs> there you go an easy team 
and you can put somebody in place of Terrell if you wanted to. But what do you do if you don't have an alert, Stu? What if I don't have alert? I see you running all these runs with alert. I know, I hear you. Let's see if we can pull something else off. Okay, now we've got two Royal Guards. No alert. We've got Sal the Drakes. I skipped to the boss phase because I don't think we need to see him hit the waves. we got Apothecary over here. Now, if you don't have a Terrell, you can use what? We can use Armstrong. We can use Duke the Pierced. We can use a lot of other people. Ugo. Decreased defense is what we need, right? Decreased defense going through here. Although he does do turn meter reduction on his A3. Terrell does, which is really good. It's handy for this. Now we got hit, but we're all magic affinity. Our whole entire group is magic affinity. We're getting a 15% crit increase and a 35% chance for the boss to weak hit us because we're strong affinity. Watch when this boss hits us. Now this is two Royal Guards. We're trying to do turn meter reduction on the A3 and slow speed with the Royal Guard as well. Yes, we've been hit multiple times already. But it doesn't seem to be doing a lot. And my Royal Guards are at 251 speed and 252 speed. Both of these are. Stage 25. They are slow. Very slow. And they're still getting the job done. They got hit again. Okay. Fine. That's fine. Let them get hit. And these guys have like an attack chest piece on them. And they're still surviving. So this boss with decreased attack up there is not hitting very hard. Plus we're all magic affinity again. And 4 minutes 40 seconds. Alright. 251. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 151, 151, 152 speed. All right, now we're going to go through with more of a rare free-to-play comp. We've got two Cold Hearts, Apothecary, Fleshmonger for AoE decreased defense at times, and then our Drakes. Wave 2 at the end of it. We've got three hits on Fleshmonger's A1, and then he's got an AoE that can has a pretty high chance to do decreased defense of 60%. Almost 100%, almost there, but not quite. So we're going to take him through here. Come on. It's slow. Look at this. 3 minutes and 25 seconds. This is the slowest run out there. Now, we didn't have to use them. We could have used... I don't know who else we could have used. But it is good to have these cold hearts in here to drop turn meter by 50%. Because that's what they're going to do, right? It's cut in half. And we've got Sal the Drakes with a slow speed. It's already up. And she can drop turn meter every once in a while. We've got Apothecary to speed us up. One of my cold hearts is at 210 speed. The other one is at 171. And I used the 171 speed earlier when we were running just one cold heart. So I wasn't trying to blast through here with speeds, guys. My Apothecary is at 264 speed. And my my Drake's is at 214, which I use forever for wherever else. Yeah, they died. Imagine that, they died. We had to bring one back. <laughs> hey, man, that's what you got to do. You, you got to bring them back, right? I mean, what can we do about it? We're trying to do stage 25 with mainly rares. And now the other one's back. How amazing is Drake's? She is just too good. She's a goddess. There we are. Five minutes and uh, five minutes and 22 seconds. Not bad. But that's all I've got, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. Those were pretty good runs. We didn't use two crazy champions. I like the speed runs we've got here, if you can call them that. Two minutes to three minute runs with all these people here. So this is the team that we used. This right here, but in place of Vizix, you could use Blind Seer. You can use Witch Arm. And you can use, who else did we use in there? Oh, Light Sworn. Light Sworn and Epic Void, which works really well to use Light Sworn in here. If you have all of these, and then whatever speed you can get your Allure to, get her up as fast as possible. 85% chance to crit. And then, of course, you need Accuracy. I would go 10 Accuracy per level, per stage. So at stage 25, we're looking at 250 Accuracy if you can do that. If you got to go a little bit lower than that, that's fine. But try to get somewhere around 250. They don't have to be at crazy speeds, but the alert does need to be at a decent speed so that we can keep it down. And that Renegade, that slow speed, the 15% helps a lot if you don't have somebody else to bring in a bigger slow speed. Let me know what you think about this down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys all in a video soon.